guys welcome back to my revision channel so today i'm doing the most requested video ever which is how to make mind maps and use them to revise i'm going to apologize in advance for the noise because it's so hot so i can't shut the window without dying but i'm going to be doing a mind map on world humanitarian day which isn't like a topic i do at school but i don't need to do any mind maps at the moment so i just chose this and you'll see why at the end um so i just started with my pastel stablo highlighters and just wrote out like a title and then i saw on pinterest that if you like use pencil to like put the shadows in it actually makes it stand out and actually i was really like happy with how this turned out i actually thought it looked quite cute and it just sort of gave it a bit of extra um dimension so i was just using your bog standard pencil to do this like nothing particularly fancy um but i like to have my title stand out because i feel like it makes the mind map so much more inviting when you have to come and revise from it and then i just added some stars and then just outlined it with pencil um just because I wanted to give it, like, make it stand out on the page and keep it separate from the rest of the information. Um, so that's what I did. And then titles I do in purple. I mean, obviously, like, not every single mind map, but, like, I try and do them in, like, a nice colour. And then I put a little, like, picture and then outline them. Um, I feel like if you make your titles and stuff attractive, then, like, you'll want to learn from it. So I always do a key facts section because I feel like, at a glance, you just need to have the key core things down that you need to know. Um, so I always use blue to highlight my like key things and then um, if there's information that doesn't quite fit in like that area but you want to put it there I'll do like a little did you know box or something like that I, I mean I wasn't very happy with how the did you know boxes turned out on this mind map but like it's not that like not that big of a deal so I'll just use a black pen to like do like the actual writing and then different colors to make things stand out so here I'm doing a section on the bombing in Baghdad so I sort of put like blue for like the key facts key figures keywords that I want to pop out the page of course you could just highlight it and um, but I just wanted to do this and this about MSF didn't really fit with the Baghdad bombing but like I wanted to put it next to it so again I just used a little thing I just realized I've written that in the wrong color um, so I do change that later though um, so this is like sort of showing you like how I like condense information so obviously you saw that was quite a long paragraph and I just make it shorter and that is the way of doing it is just get rid of the unnecessary words so here I'm just doing another section and as you can see I've added like little pictures and when I do bullet points I'll always make those stand out um, I think you know you have to like customize it yourself but my main tip for my maps is don't put everything on it like you don't need everything on it if this is just to revise like the key ideas make it pretty and make it stand out so i'm kind of like budgeting for space so like i didn't really have the choice to put loads of stuff on but if you are like you know stressed then just make sure that you do what i do and cut things down so here i had a spare space so at this point i was like hey i can add that extra bit of information on that i wanted to add earlier um, and now I'm going to use a post-it note and um, what I do on my post-it note is write down all of the headings and then I cover up the heading, go for all the information and tick it when I'm done and I do this to revise, like that's how I revise my maps is like I'll like go through the headings and like make sure I've covered everything or get my mom to test me with the headings so that is my mind map, I'm really happy with it as you can see there's a huge slide of information condensed to like the tiniest little section on a mind map so it is doable and look that's just so much nicer to revise from than a powerpoint like i'm i'm actually quite proud of this mind map um i do have other mind maps of course like i would probably wouldn't spend this long on every single mind map so these are my politics ones they're just a bit like simpler but i still have like colors for like examples colors for like different subheadings and the post-it notes um and when i'm revising from mind maps i like to store them all in like a big foldery thing so I had one for history, as you can see here, this was my um, year 10 mind maps, um, it's another design idea for you, and one for politics. So I hope you enjoyed this video, do give a big thumbs up and comment down below any requests you have. Um, I'm also going to leave the petition for World Humanitarian Day in the down bar if you're interested. Um, I don't know if you will be interested but if you've read any of the mind map you'll see that it's a really really important topic and it's really close to my heart so if you could sign the hashtag not a target petition that would be so so great and i'll see you very soon with a new video bye guys Mwah.